right? Um, a little bit, you know, <laughs> change it up. A new vibe, a new energy. I love it. Tell me what the process was. Uh, well, you know what's so funny is I remember when you cut your hair, <laughs> talking, I watched it live <laughs> like most people did, but I remember how you just talked about how you were like letting go, you were taking this big step, it was like this new direction for yourself, and that's really how I felt too. I was excited. I had locks for 15 years. So I did a lot with them. I had so much fun, but I was stunning too. It's just ready. Did you do it at home? No, I went to a salon. Uh, Vernon Scott. I mean, he knows how to cut a woman's hair. Yeah, he gave you a style. So I was like, yo, that's what I want. You went low, but you're like, I'm gonna give you a look. You know, <laughs> angles. Yeah. When I saw the photo, I was like, oh, yes, yes, this makes sense. Oh, uh, I have know. The face oh, and thank you. Supermodel. out to Cheska is because I've been on YouTube for seven years mm -hmm. but I feel like YouTube and social media is a great I think it's a great tool yes but the kind of like I think could be like a trap is it's a tool not the be all and end all I mean it depends everybody's journey is different different but for me I knew I didn't want it to be the be all end all and it was never my goal. To, there was no social media star or influencer right. when I started making content. So that was not my goal. Right. And then I got some awesome opportunities from it, but I was like, I'm ready. <laughs> but I don't I don't know if I can say I've met a, a single YouTuber in the span of, like maybe when they start off they love it, but from what I've seen in the, seen in the trends on that freaking the side thumbnails, just like, oh, I hate YouTube, I love YouTube, I hate YouTube. But everyone's like burnt out because I, I do believe like it's a tool to mm -hmm. allow you to express your interests, but you have to know what that is. Yeah, I think it's also just hard when, I mean, I think as influencers, and even when I was like more invested in YouTube, it's very lonely. Like yes, you think yeah, of it as like you're this visible person, you've got all of these followers, but you do so much work by yourself. Yeah. And you're just like, gosh, I'm, I'm editing, I'm filming, I'm s s like scouting locations, I'm buying clothes, I'm doing my makeup, I'm doing my hair, yeah. like I'm doing something and then didn't work out, or I lost the foot, like there's just so much that goes into it, right? Lost the footage, Oh my the audio didn't record. Oh my God, like exactly, or I was out of focus, right? right? Like there's just so much stuff happens and all of that combined with chasing views and likes and algorithms, it's just like a, you really burn out. And for me, I had some great experiences, but I had a lot of burnout and I had a lot of struggling to get my numbers up and make enough money. So I was always kind of like one foot out the door. Yeah. <laughs> so. But what I love about Cheska is you are super talented. Thank and you. I think what I noticed, this is my observation, because YouTube and social media was always like, it was always me as an outsider looking in. Mm -hmm. It was never like, I'm truly the shameless person. I'm like shameless. Yeah, well, it was like a care. It was like a persona. Yeah. Yeah. What is life like for people that aren't on YouTube. Oh. I you. <laughs> well, I have the kind of... Compare and contrast. Yeah, I have kind of the outside looking in perspective too because mm -hmm. like I used to be super invested in YouTube and now I'm not. Mm -hmm. And But I still kind of like watch what's going on. But then I have all these people in my real life who don't know anything about the internet. So I'm like, yeah, oh my gosh, do you, do you see what's going on with PewDiePie? And they're like, what does that sentence mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh right, you don't know anything about right. YouTube. Um, so it's interesting. I mean, I think one of the biggest things that I love love about working on projects outside of YouTube mm -hmm. is just how collaborative yeah. it is. Yeah. So I get to, you know, work with producers, I get to work with a DP and, you know, a director and just people who are all putting their talents into a project to make it the best possible. Mm -hmm. So I don't feel overwhelmed when yeah. I'm in the edit or when I'm on set. I can always get feedback from lots of people, which is really nice. Um, also, just like being in a writer's room is really cool, like being around... Cool. A bunch of other people and being able to throw out an idea or to say um, I'm working on something but I it's not working can we work on this together it feels really great um, the writers room that I was just in this summer we would do a table read every Friday and it was just so cool to write something and then hear a bunch of people 
performing it yeah. and to say like oh ooh, that didn't work or right. hear what got a laugh and like what right. didn't to just make your writing better is, is very cool so cool and that's stuff that you don't get when you're working by yourself Honestly. you would just I would just write a joke and I would say I oh, don't know I hope this is funny right. I'm not really sure <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe in the edit I might cut it because right. it wasn't funny or it would stay in and then people so would be maybe, like this wasn't funny <laughs> maybe that's the thing for me then to understand which is if you're a I think most people are social creatures, but mm-hmm. like if you're into collaboration, YouTube can be lonely. alienate. It can be so lonely, and I think that that's something a lot of people don't realize because you see all the views, you see yeah. all the likes, you see all the comments, but you yourself are doing that usually by yourself, yeah. and you are so close to the content that I think sometimes it can make it difficult to really have. The, the, a full perspective of the work. Mm-hmm. You need to kind of like be able to step back and when yeah. it's just you by yourself, you're just like, oh, I forget this so much. Um, so I like that about not being in the YouTube space. And a big difference is everything takes longer off the internet. Everything oh my takes goodness. so Tell me about long. It. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've been in development on a TV show for two years and people keep being like, where's the show? Where's the show? Where's the show? I'm like, did you know Issa Rae was in development for four yeah. years before Insecure came out? And she was in development for two years at ABC on a show that never happened. Um, and so on YouTube, yeah. social media, you make something it's and like then it, instant gratification. it goes up immediately and then you see what everybody thinks yeah. about it and how they feel. You know, with TV or even with the book, like the book was something I worked on for over a year. And before that year, you know, another year just like working on the proposal and and writing, you know, drafts and in chapters and then going on meetings and then like pitches and then calls and then like, okay, great, what do you get? And it's just like, when does this happen? Yeah. (laughs) And then even when I got the deal, it was like, okay, so the book's gonna come out next fall. Yeah. (laughs) or next spring. So that's like a huge difference. You have to be so patient. Mm-hmm. Um, and the, the flip side of collaborative is like, sometimes there's too many cooks in the kitchen. You know, you work on a project and then you have to have a call and there's like eight people yes. on the call. <laughs> and they're like, well, I think this. Damn it! Oh, what happened to the light? <laughs> Censor. Oh, okay. okay good. I think it's so interesting because to me, I'm like, how do you do success outside of yeah. social media? But I feel like we've all managed to somehow yeah. do it. I don't even know how I'm doing it. Like, yeah. I sometimes think, I'm like, how am I paying my rent? I think you just have to know. be really self motivated. And yeah. I think that that's one thing I really appreciate about, appreciate about you. And it's so funny because you and I met before you even really started your, you kind of were just oh. starting the channel. And oh, you right. and, yeah. and I met you at an event and you were just like, I have this idea, I'm gonna do this thing for 365 days. And I was just like, whoa. This, and you were like, can I email you, whatever. I was like, okay, awesome. And just like watching your hustle and even though like you were being successful in one area, you were like, I'm not content. You were like, cool, y'all love me for hair. Bam, cut all my hair off. Now I'm doing this. Oh, you like this? Now I'm doing, like, that's I think what it takes. You have to be someone who's hungry, who is always creating and always pushing themselves to do something more. And I think the people, even if they have a lot of success, the people who get really burnt out are the ones who are stagnant. They've been doing the same same thing. They're like, yo, I'm 30 years old and I'm still doing like, my first kiss video and you're like yeah. story time <laughs> you're like wait <laughs> why are you still doing like prom dress reviews you know what right. I mean it's like <laughs> you you have to your content should evolve with you yeah the work that you do should should grow and change because you have new interests because you want to challenge yourself and I think you know all the people that we've mentioned that's what they've done they've said yeah. like okay I did this thing it it was great. I loved it. This fulfilled me. But now, I, like, what's the next step? Yeah. And that step is different for everyone. Well, I also think there's a level. I mean, anytime you put your work out there, you lose some amount of control. But social media, especially, there's no roadmap, and no. and you have no communication with the platform. Like YouTube doesn't tell you what the hell is going on. Like the algorithm changes, and then everybody's fucked. Yeah, you well, know, or like same with Facebook. Like something, yeah. you'll be like, oh man, my posts are doing so well on Facebook, and then suddenly your fans are like, oh, I never see your post anymore, and I'm like, what? That's weird. I'm I'm posting so. You don't know what's gonna do well. You don't know like who's gonna see what. Well, that's why I have to like 
what keeps me grounded and what's always keep me grounded and it's different for everyone but for me I put I I use validation outside of mm. social media yeah so <laughs> <laughs> but like I used to be validated by um, numbers and I, even then it was just like I mean I feel it's like hard it, not it's to hard especially not when to. it's con connected to your check you have to determine what success is you can't let somebody else determine for you and be mindful of what you use to validate your existence yeah. before it used to be like my engagement on YouTube or mm -hmm. social media and now I'm just like the work validates me like yeah. knowing that I put X amount of hours this week on writing. And then you feel good about it. And I feel, and I felt so good about it. And then I effed up my schedule. And then someone had this bright idea to try to get me to upload videos consistently on YouTube. <laughs> I said, I, I mean, never, I kept the schedule for like maybe six months. Yeah. No, I was like, let's try it your way. And we did. And I'm like, F this. Like, I am stressed out. Like trying to like well, feed the machine that doesn't. It's unreasonable. Give you a return. Look at TV shows. TV shows do not go on forever. They have seasons, yeah. right? So like they have one episode a week, and there's a whole team of people making that yeah. show. The actor on set is not writing it yeah. and editing right. it and doing their own hair and makeup and all yeah. that. They get to go home, and there's a whole team that breaks everything down, yeah. and then they do ten episodes. And then they vacation in the south right. of France or whatever For the like, fuck. For like however months. Yeah, and then, and they, then come, they come back. And then they come back. On YouTube, you're like every single week, can't even go on vacation. And people yeah. are like, where are you? Where, where are my videos? Yeah. And for me, I always had a job. Like I quit my job after Shit White Girls Say went viral. But then after a year, I wasn't making that much money. I was like, I gotta get a job again. Yeah, <laughs> so that's I, when you went to Upworthy? Yeah, and that's when I left it, went to Upworthy. And I still made videos, but then I did Upworthy and Decoded at the same time. But here's the thing. I think what makes people like you and Fran and Fury successful is you have a skill. And you were able to develop a skill, the whole 10,000 hours, whatever, mm -hmm. before like the dawn of social media. Yeah. And sometimes I feel the, the trap with social media is it's such a time drain like it's almost like a vortex when you go in and you're like and two like, hours past. You're like, wait, what am I? You're like, I've been making videos for how many years? What are my skills? Because that's what I What's was. What's your think. skill set, right? If remember when when MySpace went away, yeah, there were a bunch of like MySpace famous people that right. we never heard from again. And I remember when that happened, like there was a little overlap between MySpace and YouTube. There was a, just a very a very just people. a very tiny. But only some transition. Vine is another example. There are right. a lot of Vine famous people that went away, and then there's some that transitioned to YouTube. And I think that social media in the real world are similar. Like, if social media was to go away tomorrow, yeah. I feel like I would be okay. You feel okay because you have <laughs> I'd be your okay. Um, the struggle is the struggle. <laughs> yeah, but see, this is, this is what I mean. You have to do all this stuff by yourself. And then if something goes wrong, who do you blame? What were you saying? <laughs> oh, I was just saying if social media went away oh, right. tomorrow, what like what do? would you do? That's a question. In the Answer comments. Answer in the comments. What would you, what would I, well, I feel like what I'm doing right now, which is. Yeah, exciting. you're trying to like write and produce new shows and new content and explore other platforms. I think that's very smart. My honest advice to you guys watching is develop a skill. Mm -hmm. And in order to develop a skill, you need time and attention that is focused I'm reading this book, or I was reading this book called Deep Work, but like to write, you have yeah. to get in the zone. Oh yeah, you have you to. You can't allow for these distractions. No, and we were actually talking about that because I work in this workspace and Maya was like, oh, it's so cute. Why do you never Instagram? I never see this on your stories. And I was like, yeah, because when <laughs> I'm here, I'm working. <laughs> I turn my phone off. I, I don't turn my Wi-Fi off, but I use this app that lets you block certain websites. Oh, what is it called? It's called Self Control. Great title. It's free. Um, you plug in the websites. You say for how long. Um, I used to do like a three-hour chunk, but now it's too long because I start get, I do feel myself being like, I want to just check. Right. So I put it on for like an hour, yeah. and then once I'm done, when that when that hour is done, I can check all my stuff and then yeah. get something to eat, get a snack, whatever, and then put it on for another and, hour. And that's the thing too, because I, for you guys watching, like when I'm actually working, I'm not on my social media you shouldn't be I mean because then and I think for me that was something I had to really be more mindful of capturing moments for social media rather than living in and enjoying the moment right or telling social media about all the cool stuff I was doing and like what was gonna be coming up and it's like well why should, 
I should just do the thing right. and then you'll see it when it's done right. <laughs> instead of telling you about it as it's a work in process. I think it's never good a good idea to put all your eggs into one basket. I think especially if you have multiple passions or talents, you should explore lots of them to see like what starts to percolate. And then that way, if something falls through, your whole world's not going to fall apart because YouTube got shut down mm-hmm. or, you know, Tumblr decides that they're not going to do A, B, and C anymore, or the platform that you have been nurturing an audience on kicks you off or something like that. So I think that that goes for anything. Um, That's why I'm a writer. That's why I'm an actress. That's why I have a podcast. That's why I wrote a book. Um, You never know what's going to be the thing that pops off, but it's always smart to try lots of different things. I'd say work on develop like to your point work on developing a skill Mm -hmm. and then use social media to amplify that in terms of your self-promotion of what you do but in order to promote that you still have to develop that yes so work on developing the skill put in the 10,000 or whatever then maybe you should focus and like because then you eventually have to promote your own ish oh totally (laughs) but I also think like we do get so wrapped up in numbers being like the mark of success, and that's just not the case. You know, I use Broad City as an example. They were a web series before they got I a television watched show. Their YouTube. No one, but not that no one like, was watching, but there weren't a lot of views. Not and even the views. I was looking at the the, the, the format, production. The production. I was like, girl. But even <laughs> um, Issa Rae, awkward black girl. Yeah. That was not a series that had millions of views. It did. No, well, it didn't. Before you, when it before it went to Pharrell. But, right, I'm saying, like, each episode, like, there are YouTubers right now who each episode gets, or each video gets millions of views. And the funny thing is, a network will not hire them to act, and if they do, it's like, we need promotion, Mm -hmm. hire this person with millions. To shout us out. To shout us out on their socials, and we'll only give them a line or two. Right. But we don't trust them. Or they can walk the red carpet, or they can come to set. But they can't work with us. Right. They can promote for us. And I always said with YouTube, uh, or social media in general, being an influencer, what bothers me the most, and I I do it so I'm just like, whatever, I gotta pay my bills, I feel like the promoter of the club. Mm. Like, I'm like, yo, 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 get this fly, come on in, come on in, like, take this fly. And then I'm like, I want to, I want to own the club. Like, I want to be working. Ooh, I love that analogy. Yeah, because I don't want to be out here just promoting. Like, yeah, come on. Like, that's a fine stepping stone. But, like, at some point, like, I'm very ambitious. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be the promoter. Surround yourself with really talented, driven people who are going to make you want to rise to the occasion. What is it? And Issa said the similar thing. It's like your peer is not the person who's going to give you a hand up. Oh, right. But the people that are around you. A high tide raises all boats. Ooh. ooh. Ooh, You (laughs) ever heard that? (laughs) (laughs) You never heard that. High tide. (laughs) No. (laughs) You have to say it like that. (laughs) It's true. Like when you start to come up, I start to come up. Like all of us come up together. And, you know, all of us met at a time where we didn't have anything. Yeah, that's fact. <laughs> and now here we are almost a decade later yeah. and a lot of stuff has changed. Yeah. yeah, A lot has changed. But a lot of work went into that. Yeah. And again, you ha- cannot be complacent. You always have to top yourself. I want to do videos just to engage with you guys and share some of it, but I'm, I'm more invested in developing a skill, mm-hmm. which is writing. And it takes a lot of time and effort, especially for me. I'm like... I'm not the brightest, but I am. I work very hard. And yeah. That's what compensates for my lack of whatever. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it. You're doing it. You just don't know it yet because you're not there yet, but you're on your way. That's the other thing, too. Like, to your point of, like, you don't want to be alone in your bedroom filming videos by yourself, doing everything pre production and post. Mm-hmm. But I also don't want to be the smartest in the room. Ooh. And literally, when you make YouTube videos. <laughs> You're the smartest in the room. Yeah. Because you're telling, I want the light like this. I want the audio like this. I want this music. And it's just like you're calling the shots, and that's great. Mm -hmm. But I feel greatness comes with surrounding yourself with people that are like, Maya, do this. Maya, do that. And you're like, try it. That's what I love. Like, it sounds kind of lame, but... Hollywood, to me, it's not the best of the best, but when I see it, like when I watch a movie, I'm like, whoa! all the moving parts that came together to make this look like that, Mm -hmm. it's no simple task. No. 
You so many people are on so set many people. for one movie, for one television show, for one photo shoot. There's just like hundreds of hundreds people that of are there, parts. and every single person has a job. And you know, to your point about being able to tell people what to do and 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 have a team that tells you what the best options yes. are, you want to be able to create a vision for something and then build the team that's going to execute and, but it. But then the team also takes your vision and they just yes. bring it over here. And I'm just like... All of that stuff is just setting you up for the next thing because for me, it makes me appreciate when I'm on set with yeah. more people because I've done those jobs and I know how much that job sucks. Right. And when I get the edit back, one, I know how to say like, mm, that's not right, we should fix this. You can't lie to me. You can't be like, oh, this is going to take right. eight days. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> I did it. I can do it. Yeah, I'll exactly. just do it myself. <laughs> Give me the files. Give me the raw footage. Yeah. Um, so it makes you a better producer. Yes. It makes you a better leader. Uh, it makes you a better creative when you've had to do everything by yourself. And then you you really then value the team that yes. helps you at the next stage. Yes. Agreed. You was to keep in mind, there are multiple ways to play this game. You can either play it with the whole like numbers thing, mm -hmm. but then people will use you specifically for your numbers, mm -hmm. or you can play the game of like I got talent. Well, right, and I think your point about skills is important because like numbers, no shade. Lots of people have numbers. Lots of people buy followers. Lots of people scam in order to have stuff go viral, or like you know on Twitter or things like that. Um, or spam comments and stuff like that. If you can back it up, yeah, there are lots of people, and that's why I brought up Broad City and like Issa. There are lots of people who, on paper, maybe did not have the most numbers, but they, they had the talent. the talent, and and people can see the potential in that. Yeah, uh, and I think that that's really important. And like attract like. Mm. So I mean, if you're about the numbers, and you'll attract people who are about numbers. Yeah. If you're about talent, you'll attract people that are looking for talent. Thank you so much, Cheska, for sharing all your wisdom. Thank you. Make sure you guys check her out. What's your most popping platform? Ooh, um, these days I would say Instagram. Yeah. You can check me out at Cheska Lee on Instagram and across all social and media. And she's serving you these looks. Ooh, yes. And check her out Instagram. I'll have all the links in the info mm -hmm, box mm -hmm. below. And until next time, remember to do you, yes. be you, stay true, yes. be shameless, be All talented. Put in your own building. <laughs> <laughs>